morning everybody Fucking quarter after eight that's the end of town life begins once more Thanks for all your input on that video I made last night. It's very helpful. Um, that video got a lot more hits than I thought it would. You know, all the music videos I've been making are getting like two or three hits. And that video got like 15 hits. So, I don't know. Maybe people would just like watching me spit or talk shit or whatever. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, thanks for your input. It was helpful. Uh, you know. Uh, it's nice to, nice to, I have so many ideas swirling around in my head. It's nice to be able to put them in a line sometimes, you know what I mean? I gotta say, I fucking hate waking up this time of day. I hate waking up at like 8 o'clock in the morning. I like to get up really early or like later. You know, at this time of day, I just feel like I feel like there's stuff going on that I just don't want to know about. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Or like, this is like when a lot of people I know wake up, you know, and then I know, I know things they do in the morning and stuff, and I just fucking think about that. Uh, I just don't like waking up around eight. I know I'm a weird guy. So. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be, uh doing much on the channel today uh, I got some plans later so I'm happy about that and uh, so I'll be actually busy doing something other than fucking sitting here so uh, that's kind of cool and uh Mm-hmm. Mm. It's fucking best pinch of the day. I'll tie that. Yeah, so I don't know. Um you know, just thanks for your input last night. Uh Kurt, uh Dan. Um Maybe that was all who commented, but Kurt runs the label that I that I uh, record for, so of course his his opinion is golden to me. So yeah, thanks, thanks, uh, thank you, Kurt. Um, mm -hmm. I'm getting really excited about uh, the Warehouse of Strangers page. There's one, okay, I can start to tell you what's going on now. Uh, we're going to be doing an interviews, uh, like a, a text interview uh, section, you know, like this, like an interview and writing section, I guess. But, uh, and I guess the first, the first band we have lined up for that is a band called Park Chimp, and they're like a noise rock band from uh, England that nobody's probably ever heard of. But, uh, Two, we have two acts lined up after that that are bona fide punk rock legends like uh, definers of a genre um, godfathers of, of, of a part of the scene you know what I mean 
unbelievable people who I can't, I can't believe are spending time to be interviewed by a little Facebook page like us. People who I've listened to all my life, uh, worn the t-shirts, worn the badges since I was fucking 12 years old. Got all the records. You know what I mean? I'm a fan of these people. And uh, they're fucking coming to get interviewed by uh, letting us interview them. So that's pretty fucking cool. So fucking extra big shout out to Kurt Gainford for that. He set that up. He's working that angle. Uh, I got a good. I got a good team of administrators on my on my Facebook page. That's for sure. But um. Yeah, Warehouse of Strangers Radio, so check it out. And every Tuesday, you can hear me on Trent Radio, doing Warehouse of Strangers Radio Radio, uh, where I'm playing a lot of stuff I post up on this on the, on the page. On the side. I'm trying to really focus on Canadian punk rock and early, early punk rock and early garage rock, stuff like that, a lot of stuff from... Toronto and Hamilton and Montreal, Vancouver, um, London, Ontario, you know, I really try to focus on that stuff because I, I feel we had, uh, a very underrated, uh, yet important, uh, punk rock scene here back in the day. And certainly in the eighties when I was growing up as a kid, uh, going to see bands play, you know. But, uh, yeah, anyway, not a lot to say. I'm just get, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm taking off, and uh, I'm excited about that. So I will uh, probably not, you probably won't see me much in the next couple of days. But until then, uh, I hope you feel good. I hope you're well. You know who you are. Thanks for helping me out uh, with the information. And until uh, I see you again in the meth end of town, I guess I'll be signing off. I don't know when I'm going to see you in the next little couple of days, but it'll something something will happen at some point. I'm sure. All right, we will.